Okay, as you can see, the water has been here soaking since last night, so this is full of chemicals that might gonna make you fart. <laughs> so we just drain it, and that water is not to go in at all. I mean, if you use that water, uh, the feijoada gets much blacker, but uh, on the other hand, you're gonna be farting like mad. So you remove it, and then you pour the beans back in here. So these are suitable now to be added to the pan for cooking. So you add the beans to the pan. Turn it off. So we put back all the meat. Look. So immediately we can't wet water. Can't wet water. Okay, we're gonna check the, the level there in a minute for just add the water to avoid the things to be sticking to the bottom of, or burning or sticking to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so I think I think it's okay. We may need a tiny bit more. Now for flavor, so to give a nice flavor while cooked, you can add three bay leaves. Depending on the size of three or four, so I'm gonna go with this one, two, three, and a tiny one, four, and that's added to the mix in there. Okay, did you put salt and pepper or anything else in it? Not yet, salt is gonna be added, salt and garlic, and we're gonna be frying lardons and garlic and onions and uh, salt and, and, and pepper. When the fish water is ready, you are eating. I suppose it's quite salty now anyway, no, wouldn't it be with all the sausages? Really, not, not really because the sauces that are used are not salty, but the seasoning of these, when this is all cooked, you get a frying pan, you fry garlic, you fry. You, you fry okay. Uh, she will see that, won't we? Yes, yeah, the lardons and garlic, and you want salt and pepper. Okay. And you get a... So the lid goes on, it locks. Here it has to be open, making sure that the valve here is down. So here is open, yeah. here is, uh, sorry, here is closed, so, here is open. Yeah. So that builds the pressure. Yes, up, and then you have to come here and you have to select uh, which is the function that I want. Okay, okay so putting it up in there. And then, and then we have to make sure that the pressure that's is... That's it, yes. okay. So that's all for an hour. Yes. So the time is up, an hour. Mmm, look at that. Yeah. Okay, look. That's the right consistency and really well cooked. So now it's time to season it. Okay. We're adding some chili because we like heat. And chili and, uh, and onions. And I have to fry the onions and the chili first. Okay. And when they are properly fried, I'm going to add the garlic. Otherwise, the garlic burns. Okay. And the chili, uh, we do in our garden. <laughs> those hands uh, after you've gone near that chili and especially don't put your hand anywhere near your penis. Uh, my hand was all outside of the chili, I didn't touch any of the parts mm -hmm. that I cut. Just so don't touch your penis. There's no, there's no heat coming outside. <coughs> so you're putting the onion and the peppers in to onion fry. and chilies to fry here in a bit of Salt and you can add uh, black pepper. We're going to use rainbow pepper. Remembering that you add, you, the uh, feijoada has no seasoning, so you can add a bit of salt in here. So you sweated the onions a bit, and now you're going to just put uh, three cloves of garlic into it. Yes. And adding in the lardons, the bacon lardons. Just a little bit because you have loads of meat in the table already. Okay, and it's 
Can you add beef to the um, no, no. To the page butter? No, you can't because the taste. Uh, beef is actually a very good complement to the feijoada if you are, for example, or to black beans. If you are eating black beans, rice and beef, as a steak, for example, goes really well. And the black beans in, in uh, Brazil and Portugal are a stable of diet, aren't they? Not in Portugal so much, but in Brazil, uh, depending on where you are, on a daily basis, you are going to be eating rice and black beans, or rice and beans. For instance, black beans is the favorite bean in the state of the Rio de Janeiro, where I'm from. But if you are from Sao Paulo, you're going to be eating rice and brown beans. Okay. So it depends. But so it's like in Ireland beans, we eat potatoes with everything. Potatoes, yeah. No? Why did you do that? That is the best way to make the um, the seasoning go in there. You you season with a little bit of the feijoada in the frying pan. Fry a little bit here, everything together. So when you mix these in the pan, that incorporates much um, homogeneously, uh, much more homogeneous uh, in a homogeneous way. As I just found you see even uh, very even throughout the feijoada. Here it is. Mm -hmm. now, now it's ready to go. Are you going to cook that for longer then? No, no, it's done. You just mix now and you check if you need it to add more water. We have the tasting. I should put a used to better spoon than that bird side of it. Mm. Really nice. It's mm. hot the way you like. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is the uh, end product. The black beans here and the meat is the stew, the Brazilian stew, and we that with rice with cabbage that's cut in these thin uh, uh, strips of cabbage, and you just uh, fry it with garlic and onions. And this here is called farofa, which is a cassava flour that's roasted. And I just bought ready, but I couldn't have made at home. But um, uh, that, gave, that gives a delicious taste and complements the whole dish. So this is what a feijoada dish looks like. And I hope you enjoy it. And sorry, explain how you make cabbage. So the cabbage you cut, in very, you buy the, the cabbage, you wash the, the, um, the leaves that are on the outside, the very green leaves. Mm -hmm. You roll them up. And it's the boy cabbage, isn't yes, it? Yes, and you cut them in very thin slices and then you fry them into um, uh, oil, hot oil and garlic and, and, and uh, onions and you can season with salt and, and black pepper and it really complements the taste. Let's taste and see how it is now a bit of everything. Mm. <laughs> it is really good if I see so myself. Okay, cool. I can't wait to try.